You know what's interesting about musical instruments is that over the last, you know, two, three hundred years, they're considered something that's prized by the family that's passed on from generation to generation. The whole fact of being able to personalize the guitar just personally for you and be able to pass that down generation to generation is a cool thing. When we built this wood library, we got a sense of that because people would come in here and they would pick out instruments for their customers um, that they knew the customer would cherish for the rest of their lives and that they would pass on to their family. This place is built on the passion for the guitar. And, you know, whether you're a new guy or you've been here for 20 years, I've been here for 19 years, a lot of these guys have been here 10 and 15 years, still to this day, we still get blown away by guitars. Paul's, over the last 10 to 15 years, has hoarded away some of the best tops. He takes the best of the best and he was hoarding them all the way for a rainy day and we decided to put a vault together and we have, it's basically a consolidation of all those woods that Paul has hoarded over the last 10 to 15 years. I'm Paul Reed Smith and welcome to the Private Stock Wood Library. The Wood Library is an extraordinary place where we keep the best of the best woods that we've collected over the last decade. <laughs> What's really cool is you can take a piece of wood like this and turn it into an instrument like this. And this is the place where you would pick out the materials for extraordinary instruments. What we've done with the vault is actually brought people to the shop. Dealers will bring some special customers, or at least they'll have customers in mind where they can come, they can take pictures of wood, they can really go through the wood and kind of gear their orders towards specific customers. It's important to note that we're wholesalers, which means we sell guitars to dealers and dealers sell those guitars to customers. So this is a place for the dealer to come and pick out extraordinary woods and envision some extraordinary instrument. Recently, we picked out a kit for a wonderful instrument and I'd like to show you each of the parts of that kit so you can get an idea of what the, that dealer and we did together for making an instrument. This is a almost complete electric guitar wood kit. This turns into a guitar. So to give you an idea, listen to this neck plank, this rosewood neck plank. And that's in its raw form. Imagine what it's going to be as a musical instrument. Same thing with this beautiful Madagascar rosewood fretboard. Listen to the note. almost sounds like a musical instrument by itself. The headstock veneer, the beautiful curly maple top, and a be beautiful piece of uh, lightweight mahogany. They all have mu notes. They all have musical notes. And, you know, when you start with materials of this caliber, uh, you can get an extraordinary instrument out of it, right? The woods we use in our factory for the regular guitars are the same woods mostly, but these are the ones with the extraordinary figure, something beautiful. So this would be the beginnings of a private stock. Listen, even the headstock veneer <laughs> made a lot of noise when it fell on the table. Well, these things, they're musical instruments by themselves, right? So this would be for an electric guitar. Now let me show you an acoustic guitar. So now, for a private stock wood library guitar, an acoustic guitar, this would be the kit that would turn into this. Beautiful private stock acoustic guitar, right? It's got a wonderful sound. It's a wonderful guitar. This is actually a private stock guitar that's shipping today, and it came out of a kit like this, right? Beautiful, book-matched Coca-Bola back set. You can book-match it that way, or you can book-match it this way. 
beautiful. Uh, beautiful piece of cocoa bowl for the headstock veneer. A wonderful European spruce top. A set of sides, rare rosewood sides. This one's going to get an ebony fretboard with Celtic knot inlays. And a neck blank. Made out of very hard musical Peruvian mahogany. This turns into that. It's, uh, it's the perfect place to pick out the woods for your dream instrument. It makes me smile. It's a good sounding guitar. <laughs> It's almost like I got a wah-wah pedal on a guitar. We're not just an electric company who's trying, trying to do something different. We're a guitar manufacturing company who makes exceptional guitars, whether they be electric or acoustic. We have curly maple, extraordinary tiger maple, curly maple. We have quilted maple. We have maples that are both curly and quilted together. We have beautiful fretboards from many different countries several kinds of rosewood and ebony. We have many different kinds of neck blanks, Pernambuca, mahogany, curly maple, and several different kinds of rosewoods. We have extraordinary woods for the backs of the guitars, many of them with figure. We have very rare supplies of abalone and pearl. We have rosewood sets for backs and sides of acoustics. We have extraordinary European spruce for the tops of acoustic guitars, and Adirondack spruce red spruce, the holy grail of acoustic instrument top wood. We have curly mahogany sets and many other rare, rare woods. A lot of what we have in the vault is really figured stuff, some, some bear claw and even some flame figure that you almost never see. It's stuff that's really, uh, really rare, that's something that's really ornate that you wouldn't normally see on a, or would never see on a production guitar. We sort of are building guitars of people's dreams, really. Every step of the guitar has really got to be thought out, whether it's stain, whether it's the CNC work, everything is sort of custom on these guitars. So you end up having to really pay attention and really get your hands on each guitar. Getting into private stock is really the next step for us, where it's customized. You know, customers can order different bindings, different wood combinations different inlay packages and so that's really the next challenge for us and the next opportunity for us is getting into that private stock realm of really customized guitars. Paul's opinion is is that the electric guitar is the violin of our times. Musical instruments are some sort of uh, sophisticated drug really in a way because I've never seen anybody in a bad mood sitting on the couch playing their instrument. I have seen dealers pick them up and they're just checking them out and just completely all in awe about the craftsmanship and the color or the way the wood, you know, is shined with that color on it. So that wow factor is exactly what we're looking for. We're building musical instruments, but they're also pieces of art as well. And this is the blood. This is the place where you can start that art to build an instrument. Like, wow, how can you get better than what you've already done? How do you make something that's the greatest thing better? Paul strives to do that on a daily basis. That's what he lives to do, and, and I think he does it well, and he's done it well for the past 25 years. We're always trying to figure out better ways to make a better instrument. It's pretty much the sky is the limit as far as options go. You can dream it, we can build it. <laughs>